Hello, hello. Oh, surprise, surprise, I'm live. Let me see here. Uh, surprise, surprise, I am live. Waiting for some folks to come in. This is an unplanned live. What's going on, Marcy? How you doing? Hey, babe, thanks for joining. It's a lot of action going on here, you know what I'm saying? I might, I'm about to turn the camera um, around. Did you did you unplug the beats? I mean, did you? Okay. Okay, can you put it in a small bowl? It's going to be a lot of action right now. Because, um, you know, it's the day before Thanksgiving. And this is a holiday that's my cousin's favorite holiday. And But I did have a little bit of an announcement to make, which I'll make in a minute. Um, let me show y'all what's going on over here. Well, without showing my cousin, who's in full prep mode, right? Respect people's appearances, because not everybody wants to be live. But let me show y'all a little bit of what's going on here in the uh, background. You know, I've been gone for a minute because we had our retreat. But hold on, before I get into it. Here's, this is supposed to be the kids' table. Hopefully no one uh, breaks anything. We're just getting the spot ready for tomorrow. A whole bunch of people um, just invited themselves because no one wanted to cook. And since this is my cousin's favorite holiday. So what's going on, Sutton? It's been a while. It's a surprise live. All right, just showing y'all. Um, I've been gone for a minute. We had our retreat at the end of October. And I spent about a month in DR. Oh, man, it was a pretty intense month. I brought my son down, actually, for that month. And uh, so we had a bit of bonding time. Uh, the retreat was phenomenal as always. Um, some of y'all might not know, but we host plant medicine immersions in the DR. We're actually thinking of hosting one in the Costa Rica for 2024, but we'll see how that works out. Um, if you're not familiar with plant medicines, ah, uh, thanks, I uh, miss you too. You haven't been on IG lately? I haven't been, I mean, since the retreat. And... I've just been low key on the um, IG, been low key on social media, period. Um, you know, even as our retreat attendees go through their own process, I'm also going through my own process because uh, I actually sit with them with uh, the ayahuasca. So I need my own time to integrate all of the things that happened. But the retreat was beautiful as always, it really is. I feel like if, if you've done everything and just talked about everything and have seen every therapist under the sun, have tried every modality, then a plant medicine immersion, if you find yourself still sort of like going through it, then the plant medicine immersion might be something to look into. And we had a group of ladies who, we had two people from Norway actually, which is wild. And it was... A group that was, they were a little bit nervous about the experience, obviously, for obvious reasons. But they leaned in. They leaned in. Lots of fears. Uh, but they leaned in and was able to see themselves through the other side of that fear. And um, I sat with them, the ayahuasca ceremony. And then me and my son had our own ceremonies that we did together. We did Cambo, and then he sat with Aya, and I sat with him. We had private ceremony. So having back-to-back -back ayahuasca ceremonies, I'm still integrating myself back into look, like the flow, back into this 3D world. Um, and so being in DR with the pace being as slow as it is and then coming back here, I'm like, I feel like I'm, I'm playing catch up, but not really. So it's been a bit of a, an adjustment either way. Um, and so I've just been taking my time getting back on. What's going on, Lily? This is an impromptu live. You missed it. I was gonna. Right, let me show you, Lily, what we got going on over here. It's wild. 
All right. You see this? That's the kids' table. Oh, look at this. Look at this. A whole bunch of people invited themselves this year. So I can't even stay too long because, you know, I got to go um, help in the kitchen. But, yeah, it's just been a wild few weeks, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get back into the groove of things, get back into my rhythm. Um, and that's been a bit of a challenge. But I also haven't been rushing it either. Uh, but I do know that um, even though I'm sort of taking my time getting back into this rhythm. Oh, thanks, Marcy. I know that life is still life. And, and so I decided to, I know my cousin will appreciate that comment. She loves doing these things. I just be like, yo. I was like, what happened to the fancy paper plates? <laughs> you know, because the dishwasher doesn't work. Who gonna wash all these dishes? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, it's gonna be one of us. I'd love to come to Cali. It's freezing over here. Um, but yeah, so I sat uh, with my son, which was a very powerful experience. And maybe at some point I will share what that experience was like. I feel like, you know, I don't know if there's any parents here, but if you're able to have an opportunity to heal with your child, it's a very powerful, powerful experience. And to see him before and after has been amazing. Before, it was like all this heaviness, this dense energy, this frustration, this confusion. And then seeing him sort of get to the other side and seeing him come into his own in terms of clarity, confirmation and declaration has just been beautiful. Um, and having... I think one of the things about the plants is that, like, it allows you to tap back into your personal power. Um, he's 25. Um, allows you to tap back into your personal power. Because I feel like, and I plan to do a live on this, because I recently, somebody on YouTube called me out about something. Not called me out, but you know, you know when you put yourself out here in these social media streets, you put yourself out here to be, for, for people to leave, uh comments okay and you know i don't expect everybody or anybody to agree with anything or everything that i say that'd be weird right because we all have our own sort of unique experiences four boys wow four boys but that must have been uh a very interesting and energetic household <laughs> how old are your boys marcy um but yeah, somebody left an interesting comment. I did this video about, so this live is going to be random, but I do have an announcement later. Um, I did this video about, I think it was boundaries, and somebody had mentioned that um, not everyone can sort of exercise their boundaries, and I thought that was interesting. She, she basically said that some people have to placate, placate themselves um, because of safety reasons. And I get that, especially if you're in situations where it's unsafe, right, to exercise your boundaries, um, then that means that you sort of need to navigate um, your safety, and your safety comes first. While, and I believe that we all still have a choice, regardless of the situation that we're in. It could mean that, like, the choice might be delayed and come later in life. It might come much, much later when you're at a pla place where you can actually exercise that choice. But at the end of the day, we still have a choice. We really do. And I think, uh, I feel like throughout this experience, we've, and just the way society is structured, we've forgotten that we do have choices and we do have options. Um, they may not always be the per most perfect option. They may not be the I most ideal option. They might not be options that we like. But at the end of the day, we do have a choice in how we can structure our lives. And I feel like we just forgot that over time because of all sort of like, you know, the trauma and the things that we've experienced. Um, so I do want to go deeper about that in a live somewhere. And I feel like when you do plant medicines, you come back to that original state of being that you can actually make these choices in your life to change your life because at the end of the day who's going to make those changes right who's gonna 
change the things that you feel that you need to change. No one on the outside can do that for you. Not your parents, not your significant other, not your kid. Like nobody. We can't. And we can't wait for people to to do what they need to do so that we can do what we need to do. We just need to do that for ourselves. And and so one of the things that I'm offering since it is, you know, I don't necessarily participate in these holidays like that. Let me see if I can actually pull this up. I don't even know. No, that's not it. <laughs> I forgot how I did this last time. Let's see. Meeting in my bed. My bed. How can I pull this up? Babe, do you remember how to pull up the picture? I have a speaker. It's a big enough. Oh, the boom boom speaker? The Domin- I call it the Dominican speaker. Huh? Yeah, have her bring it. Um, I don't remember how to pull it up, but what I'm offering tonight, well, for the weekend, um, one of the things I love to teach is my inner child course. And this course is usually reserved uh, for our retreat attendees. Where we go deep. I mean, sometimes we're there for like three, four hours. It's also reserved for my Thrive community, um, but it's a course. It's it, it's a course I'd like to offer to my community here on IG. It's a three-hour a crash course to inner child healing because I feel like of all the things that we can focus on when it comes to our healing, it's our inner child. Everything begins and ends with our inner child, and if we can get a handle on this to understand it for ourselves and to create a connection with our inner child it really is a game changer in our lives and what I find is that a lot of folks who feel and this was me as someone who was consistently emotionally reactive as someone who also would bail at when things got really too intense I'm I'm a former avoidant avoidant person, avoidant behavior, you know, when you look at attachment styles. Um, I feel like when I was in grad school, like, I didn't learn anything about inner child, like legit, did not learn anything about it. And so I couldn't understand why, like, my life was sort of spiraling the way that it was. I, I couldn't understand why my relationships were so chaotic and dysfunctional. And it wasn't until my therapist uh, started the conversation with me back in 2016 about the little girl within me. And that just changed everything. It changed all of my perspective. And I went from blame to connection. I went from avoidance to embracing um, my emotions. And also just the willingness to sort of look at all the things that I didn't think were lovable, all the aspects of myself that I didn't think were lovable. And I feel like if you're on this healing journey and you're still repeating the same cycles and if you're still having um, disconnections in your relationships, then it might be a wounded inner child that might be living inside of you. And so I just sent this out to my email list, but and I'm going to put a link in my bio shortly. Um, but... I'm inviting you to take my inner child course. It's a three hour pre-recording course. Um, and in that, if you purchase this course this weekend, cause it's gonna end on Monday night, PST midnight. Uh, you also get a 45 minute one-on-one with me uh, that you must use within 60 days. Gotta take action. We ain't gonna be nursing this for six months, a year, right? Got 60 days for us to dive deep. And you also get my uh, 10-day inner child core wounding meditation challenge as well. So take an opportunity. I just came up here to check in, to say hello, but also say that um, I'm offering this, extending this invitation to y'all, which is usually reserved to my my Thrive community and our retreat attendees. If only you find yourself um, struggling in this area only if it applies to you and if you have any questions about the actual course you can send me a dm and i could give you more information 
Uh, but it's about three hours. And in that course is also a inner child meditation. It's a very powerful inner child meditation. And it's going to allow you to go deep and reconnect. Because what's missing, there's a few things that are missing when it comes to the healing journey. But what's missing the most is that connection with your inner child. Um, that long-term connection. Because we shut it off. And what happens is that our, our inner child sort of just like runs the show. It makes all the decisions for us because it doesn't know how to handle the intense emotions that it feels inside. And some of us are internalizers and some of us are externalizers. And so the difference is internalizers, like me, will maybe withdraw, will just leave, bail. Um, and then you have your externalizers who will have tantrums, who will yell, scream. And you've seen this. I talk about this all the time. The Karens in the supermarket are individuals who have a wounded inner child. Or the person who's standing in line, who has a hard time standing in line, and starts having these emotionally um, intense external reactions. Actually, the, the other day when we were coming back from DR, so funny. We were standing in line in customs, and it was it was a long time. And so finally, a customs officer comes out, and you know I think there's a line for the folks to do the clear. They have the um, they move faster in the customs line, I guess special line. And this one guy was waiting for a while, and there was somebody in front of him, and then there were a few people behind him. And so the lady that was guiding everybody to the lines, she was so funny. Um, the guy started to complain. Everybody else is just chilling, right? We're just like, you know, it's customs. When you travel internationally, you're going to wait in line, okay, at the customs. And maybe if you're lucky, it will move fast. But we all know that this isn't a fast process. And he was getting really antsy and agitated. And he started complaining that there was no one at the window, you know, he's in a special line, that sort of thing, and that, you know, he wants to be served. And so the lady goes up to the customs officer who was serving another line, was like, this guy's being aggressive. Um, can you just serve, begin to serve him, that sort of thing. And the guy's like, I'm not being aggressive and all this other stuff. And I'm watching him, and we're all kind of like, you know, I'm not. It was funny. So I did snicker a little bit. And I watched him, and I, I thought, okay. There's, there, there's an, a wounded inner little boy right there, right? Um, because when you have a wounded inner child, your emotions are really hard. It's hard for you to balance your emotions. It's hard for you to stay centered. It's hard for you to stay sometimes calm in very intense surroundings. Um, some people will say, well, you know, my anger is justified. My reaction is justified. It depends. It depends if your reactions are um, causing chaos, causing harm, right? Because we need to learn ways to express ourselves that doesn't alienate people, right? We need to learn ways to express ourselves that brings connection versus um, distances people from us, right? And so that's the whole inner child journey. I mean, I could go on and on. I love talking about it because it changed my life when I finally figured out that was, that was what was missing for me because I felt like I was in the dark for a very long time and even as a clinician you know and I think about like have like I didn't learn this how could I have not learned this um in school and when I noticed this even for my clients I'm like if me a professional had a hard time navigating this I can only imagine just you know just the average person how hard it could be for them to navigate that part of their lives. And so I just made it a commitment to really give, um, you know, made a commitment to share this with other people because it's really just the missing key. It is the missing key. So if you can begin to heal your inner child and become the adult that your inner child needs while also giving yourself the childhood that you deserve, your life will change so drastically so if you're not on my email list join my email list um but i'm gonna put a link in my bio right after this live so that you can get the bundle um at a steep good price good price as the 
Ah, oh, I feel like I'm back in DR when they're all trying to sell me things. Anyway, I give you good price. <laughs> but um, let me know if that's something that you're interested in. And I'll send me a message. I'll send you the link. Uh, but it'll be my bio. And I hope you take me on the offer. Um, and I'll see y'all soon. I, I will be doing an official live next week, next Wednesday. Every Wednesday I go live. Um, so I will see y'all officially next Wednesday. Um, and I will talk to y'all soon. Thanks for joining and enjoy uh, the holidays if that's something that you celebrate. Or enjoy the time with your family or your loved ones or whomever. If you're solo, enjoy the time with yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Oh, if anybody knew before I leave, if you knew, if you watched me in 2020, this was the robe in 2020. I used to wear this on all the Zoom calls that I attended in 2020. I brought it back because it's cold out here. Anyway, uh, thank you, Sutton. Thank you, Marcy. Yes, have a great Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, and I'll see y'all soon. Take care.